Anybody read H.P. Lovecraft? Yeah. Yes, my people. Uh, for those of you that are not my people, H.P. Uh, Lovecraft was a writer in the 1920s. He basically invented modern horror. It was like Edgar Allan Poe had his raven, and then Lovecraft had tentacle monsters, and then everyone else just ripped off from them. By the way, that's a big leap. Like, Poe's like, I have, a, I have a bird that talks, and Lovecraft's like, I got a monster that It's like, oh, okay, you've raised the bar for everyone. Um, and he uh, was dressed like a girl until he was 13. He was Harry Houdini's best friend, and he told people he was a time traveler from the future. I know he sounds like he was a David Lynch wet dream that just sort of, but he was a real guy, and I hate him. I love him, I love him, but I also hate him because he's a goddamned hack. Because every story he ever wrote ends the exact same way. After pages and pages of describing local flora and fauna and sounds and the area and the political history, we get to the final scene where he's up against the, the monster, the darkness, the shadow out of time, and every single time it reads, Dear reader, I looked upon it and it cast a fear deep into the back of the depth of my soul. To describe it in words would be impossible. The words that would... There are no words that could possibly be... I... Are you expecting words? Oh, they are not forthcoming. No. No. I glimpsed an abomination and it has broken my brain. My vocabulary is just... Did you see it? I saw it. It was bad. No, no. Fair reader, let me try one last time. Uh, when you gaze upon it, uh, the only way to describe it would be to say, damn, just, oh, no thanks. Okay, toodles. <laughs> every single time, every single time. I just want to read the letters that came to him from his editor that were like, Dear Howard Phillips, it is I, your editor, uh, Mark. Um, I have completed the reading of your latest manuscript, The Cosmic Horror, and I think that your readers will once again ask, at what point they will encounter the cosmic horror? Because it doesn't seem to occur in this book. I, I don't know why we keep having this conversation. It's, it is an odd thing. Perhaps you should start writing your books from the end and then backwards, because I feel like you get a hand cramp on page 99 and then just shit the bed on page 100. Like, and we're done here, because because saying, damn, is not the way that a story should, it, it feels, how much are we paying you? And the reason that I hate him is because it works. It still works today. Stuff he wrote 100 years ago is still scarier than anything that Stephen King wrote in the 90s. It's aged better. And I know it because I am still like sit down and read it, and I'm like, I know what's coming, I know it's dumb. I'm like, that was dumb, I put the book down, and two nights later, you're in your mid-20s buying a nightlight, because there's that corner of your room where the closet <laughs> just doesn't, Nope, not ready for it. <laughs> what are, one of the things that Lovecraft left behind was a, a commonplace book. It was essentially a book with all of his ideas for things. And you got to see some of the stuff that he wrote down, the like one-liners for that actually became stories, like, hideous book glimpsed on shelf, not seen again. You're like, he got 50 pages out of that. Like, that's insanity. But you also get to see a lot of stuff that never went anywhere. But when I see it written out in a little short form like that, it reminds me of the way that comedians will write their set list on the back of their arms. I just kind of wish he could have taken a crack at that. Like, uh, vampire dog, okay, well. The difference between women and men are much like the difference between a vampire dog and a werewolf. <laughs> Ancient Negro wizard in cabin Name of the best band ever. We need to start it. Ancient Negro wizard in cabin possesses a white man. <laughs> Only in Obama's America. Am I right? Like, oh, it would be great. And I hate him because he got away with it because he was the first to do it. Like, I would have to scare somebody and he just got to say, you're scared. And it worked and it still does. Like, I can't turn in a horror script to like Lionsgate and they'd be like, oh, the first 95 pages were, were really great, but then on the last three pages in crayon, you just wrote, damn, <laughs> nah, -uh. made that face. Like, would you consider finishing writing the script? And I'd be like, oh, but I did write it and went blind from madness. So I had to delete the words. It was too scary. No one take that. That, that, that idea would probably actually sell. That's, uh, 